I've been hanging out with Charlie Murphy recently, man. It's weird. No, you know what? Because, like, my whole reason for being in this industry is because of Eddie Murphy. So it's awkward for me hanging with Charlie because he and Eddie and Charlie look exactly alike. The only difference is where is Eddie's all like, hey, <laughs> like Eddie laughs. Charlie don't laugh. He doesn't even smile. He just scowls bigger. <laughs> and Charlie always feels like, I guess because he has such success on Chappelle's show, he always feels like he has to tell these E True Hollywood stories about everybody he ever met in the 80s. Hey, yo. I remember back in 1987, right? <laughs> it was a Grammy's after party, right? And it was me, it was Eddie, that's my brother, Eddie Murphy, right? It was me, it was Eddie, George Michael and boy George was there, cause there's a two George minimum, right? It was me, it was Eddie, Sting was there, John Cougar Mellencamp was there, that dude from Flock of Seagulls was there, it was me, it was Eddie, Cindy Lauper was there, Madonna was there. You know, I was the first dude that Madonna ever messed with that was black, right? Yeah, I hit that. Now she's adopting little Africans anyway. It was me, <laughs> Eddie, Cockroach from the Cosby Show was there. It was me, Eddie, that black dude with the sound effects from Police Academy was there. It was me, I finally cut him off. I was like, yo, Charlie, man, I don't feel like hearing this, son. Now look, I got love for you, son, but I don't feel like hearing about your history, man. He got offended. He's like, hey, yo, man, let me tell you something. Don't ever interrupt my story again, all right? This is all I got. You do that again, I'll pick up that dirty screwdriver and stab you through the big toe on your left foot. You get hepatitis B, C, and D. We have to cut your foot off, then you'll be an amputee. Now I gotta start over. Me, 